darlings. I know I normally call you beautiful souls, but this video is going to be different. I, um, well, I, I just want to go on the record and say that my video that posted on Saturday after the Supreme Court's decision was recorded before the Supreme Court's decision. So this is my first video um, after, after what has happened in the United States. I, uh, I live in the United States. I live in Oklahoma, which is a deep red state. And I have a beautiful daughter who looks like Aphrodite herself. And I have a wonderful, flamboyantly gay son who is the sweetest, most generous person you will ever meet. I have another son who is just trying to get by in a world that is not set up for Gen Z. And then another son who is special needs and um, is, is kind of protected as best as we can protect him. And then I have a granddaughter. She is five. She is my baby. And everything that is happening in the world makes it so scary for me as a mom. I... I just don't know what to do. Like, I live in a place where they're taking away my children's rights. It's not even my rights that I really care about. It's my children. And I don't know what to do. So, I know that a lot of you are feeling this energy. Um, a lot of you are outraged. I know that, that many of you are not American, but many of you are standing with us. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please raise your voice. Please help us be heard. Because I don't know what to do. I, I'm i gonna have a conversation with, with my spirit guides and I wanted you all to be part of it because um, it's for all of us. You know, all of us are seeing these atrocities happen and, um, and many of us have no idea what to do. So whether you have a uterus, you love someone that has a uterus, you are anywhere on the sexual spectrum, whatever type of love you share, I'm glad that you share your love. All right. Now, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. I trust you. I love you. Please help us. Please show us a way out of this. So there is my heartbreak in the Three of Swords. Oh, but the sun is behind it. So... I'm going to take them both. <laughs> the sun is there, I hope, because there is sunshine coming. The Three of Swords is very clearly my heartbreak, your heartbreak, our heartbreak. <sighs> All right. Um, thank you for the sun. The sun talks about growth. It talks about things looking up. It's the brightest, happiest card. So after heartbreak comes sunshine. So that's wonderful. We will find a way out of this, guys. We will. It'll be okay. Our governor just passed a law <sighs> making it illegal. Um, you know what I'm talking about making it illegal in all situations. So, we have got a long way to go. Now, 
what else is there? What else is there to add? All right, the King of Cups. The King of Cups talks about compassion and love. And this is compassion where you are, like you love so strong that you don't even, it's not about keeping someone with you. It's not about you at all. It is a love that is genuine and compassionate and pure. And that type of love is what they're saying is going to get us through this. So love and light is the answer, which I'm, I'm happy to hear. Because with all of the overload of information I've been having while I'm on vacation, it feels like the only thing we can do is scream. So I'm glad that the King of Cups is here because love is going to come in and save us. Now what else? What else is there? Please. Well, I'm not getting any other cards out of this deck. So I think the message is, uh, is clearly that after the heartbreak comes the sunshine and that love is gonna lead us out of this. And I know that that, that seems impossible. Um, and I don't completely understand it. Believe it or not, I don't always understand what the spirit guides are talking about what what plan they're trying to communicate. Like sometimes it's just like, hey, there's going to be love. It's going to be okay. Like the ones you love are going to be okay. Now, I want to get Moonology for this Three of Swords because I can't stop crying. I've been crying for days. Like I'm looking at having to move my son out of the state because, and, and he's 19, by the way. He's a baby but technically an adult and I'm looking at having to move him to a safe state where he can be who he is without being afraid of going to jail I'm sorry I don't even know if I'll post it like I feel like I have to post it because I have to say something like I can't just be quiet I can't just watch as this happens You know, if you're still here, then I love you. You know, because I know some people are like, wow, you know, things in the U.S. are really bad. They are. They really are. And just getting worse by the minute. Like, just getting worse by the minute. But there's hope. There's got to be hope. All right, so with regards to my heartbreak, I'm told be bold and make the first move. And that's not just for me, that's, that's for everybody. Oh, I just realized like the setup is different. I wanted to tell you guys, this is all for protection, okay? Like I'm gonna be real straight with you. I mean, I'm with the tarot, I would figure you guys would know that I probably um, have my own belief system and it's true. You know, I believe in candle magic. If you don't, if you don't, that's fine. Everybody can believe whatever they want to believe. Everybody can do whatever they want with their body. Why can't we just remember that? But the white candles are intention for protection. We have the pentagram for protection and a black protection candle, which I'm going to let burn all the way to the end. We've got the obsidian and the amethyst, and then the obsidian merkaba. And normally protection is, when I'm putting the protection out, it's spiritual protection. But many of us need physical protection and emotional protection and just love in general. So everything here is for protection. Now, we're told to be bold and make that first move. I don't know if that first move is some form of protest or 
I don't know, leaving the country. Like my husband's looking at other countries trying to figure out where we can go. Let's, you know, I want I want something happier than moonology. Let's let's see Queen of the Moon. What does the Queen of the Moon have to say for the sun? The sun resistance. We have resistance. We can do this. We can put all of our energy, all of our energy into loving each other, into taking care of each other, into standing with each other, into being by each other's sides. There is all kinds of life in this resistance. We are life. We deserve to be heard. All right. And let's look at the spell casting oracle for the King of Cups. What is there to add to this King of Cups? Oh, that's way too much. Come on now. Just, just one. Just one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Manifestation. All right. So this is really clear. Like love and light. It's going to lead us out of this. Don't ask me how. <laughs> like I haven't got a clue. I'm, I'm looking to save my son. I'm looking to protect my daughter. I'm looking over my shoulder. Because I'm a woman. <laughs> I mean. And, and, and to make it even better. I am a member of the um, Cherokee Nation. So all of my children are too, of course. And um, in October, our, our Supreme Court is going to look at the Indian Child Wear Welfare Act of 1978, um, which basically says that they're not allowed to come steal our children. So there's that. Like, I'm sorry. I know that this is, is a heavy energy. Like, I know. I cleansed with Paul Sandow. I did. I just... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I love you guys. And I know that a bunch of my son's friends are on the spectrum, whether they're pan, whether they're gay, whether they're trans, whatever they are. I love you guys. And I will always be here to hug you for as long as I can stay, for as long as you can stay. And we will find a way out of this. It's gonna be okay. It is gonna be okay. Let's, let's just see what the wisdom deck has for us, shall we? Whew. All right. Oh. Security. Okay. It says witch's cottage and security. Well, you know, I, I identify as a witch. You know, I do the candle magic and, uh, and I believe in spirit guides. And this cottage is like representation of our home. And it says we have security. So something's going to happen. Like something's going to happen. And we definitely have to be bold and make the first move, people. Like we have to be bold and make that first move. But there's going to be security where we live. Like it's going to be okay. We're going to manifest this, the love that we need to bring us into the sunshine. Our resistance to these outlandish things that are happening in our lifetimes is going to be strong enough. Like, we will make it, okay? We will make it. You get starry night acceptance. So, basically... What I'm hearing here is it's okay to have a good cry. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It is okay to be heartbroken. 
it is okay to not know what to do and to be afraid, but we've got to rise up from that. We have to find our voices. We have to find our strength. We have to resist the stripping of human rights in this country, in this state. We can manifest the love that we want. And that's all we want. Women just want to be treated equal. You know, everybody, you know, everybody in the LGBTQ plus community, they just want to be left alone to love who they love. Like love is going to be our answer, guys. It really is. I don't know how. And I know we've got to stand up and we've got to vote. And we have got to absolutely got to take care of each other and we've got to take care of ourselves and we have to accept what has happened to us not accept it like say it's okay and if you're one of those pro birthers like I I'm really trying to control my energy but you can go ahead and, and uh, unsubscribe from me now because that's not that's not what we do here you know, I'm not going to turn this into a political channel. But so many people are crying. So many people are hurting. And I'm an empath. So I can't go to the grocery store right now without feeling the fear of the people around me. Like everyone is afraid. And I wish I could say they had no reason to be afraid. But we've got really good reasons to be afraid. But again, we've got to rise up beyond it. We have got to band together. We've got to stand together, all of us. Whether you have a uterus or you love someone with a uterus, whether you are somewhere on the sexual spectrum or you love someone on the sexual spectrum. If you love life, if you love humanity, if you love love then stand with us make your voice heard now I know I've been ranting forever <laughs> like and to be totally honest I'm probably just going to post this without even listening to it because I would just be overwhelmed by the amount of tears I have shed here the scales of karma Cycles of disharmony, creating new traditions and some unfortunate events. Yeah, that's real true. Like this is definitely, or scales of karma, sorry. This is definitely a cycle of disharmony. But we can create new traditions from it. Where we teach people to love each other. To truly love each other in this compassionate King of Cups way. <sighs> okay. One more spirit guide card. No, 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 no. Come on now. If you've noticed, I'm not spreading the cards like I normally do. And that's because I'm so upset. Um, I, I was having trouble even choosing which cards to use. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers. All I can tell you is that I love you. And we're going to be okay. I just know it. Somewhere, somehow. We're all going to be okay. Your beliefs are right for you. Your beliefs are right for you. Whatever religion you are. Whatever you identify with, whether you, I mean, but when you see that you, your beliefs are right for you, that means they're right for you. And you can't push them on somebody else like the Supreme Court's trying to do. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Do we have... 
You know, I'm going to get an angel card just because I haven't gotten one and we definitely need some angel energy. All right, angels. Whatever you got, please. Okay, not that much. Oh. There we go. Forgiveness. Okay, so like as hard as it's going to be, there needs to be some form of forgiveness somewhere. You guys can take that as it resonates. I'm not ready for forgiveness for what's been done yet, for what's being done. Some of you may be, you know, if you're ready to forgive, that's going to set you free. I should forgive. I'm going to have to work on it. You know, you, you start you start persecuting my son. You start persecuting my daughter. I'm going to have to work on it. Because those are my babies. And, and they just don't deserve it. They just don't deserve hate. They deserve love. <sighs> okay. Well, I have rambled while I've pulled a bunch of cards. And the message to me is very, very clear. I hope it's clear to you. I hope it brought you some kind of hope. I'm really, I'm not sorry I cried because I'm human. And I think we all need to remember that we are talking about other human beings right now. So I'm not sorry I cried, but I am gonna use my voice. And that doesn't mean I'm turning this channel into a political channel, that's not gonna happen. I like reading tarot. That's what I do. You know, I, I talk to spirit guides. I have a really cool job. Like I talk to spirit guides and that's what I do. So I'm not going to change that. But on July 4th, I will post a red screen in solidarity with all the other people that are standing up for rights, for basic human rights. And then I will be back to posting as normal, probably on the 7th. All right. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for the wonderful comments I know I'm going to get. For those of you that have watched this far, if you're going to troll my comments and you've watched this far, then please don't. You know, um, I'm, I'm not going to justify it with any kind of response. However, if you see someone trolling my comments and you would like to respond, I fully encourage it. All right. Well, I love you guys. And I love you kids. And all of my son's friends who watch this. I love every last one of you. And... We'll still have hugs when we see each other. And, and it's going to be okay. Like, we're going to fight for you. We're going to fight for you. And it's going to be okay. All right. Well, I love you guys. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Don't forget to meditate. We all need to meditate. Just to kind of center ourselves a little bit. <laughs> all right. Well, until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.